Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today wherever you are. Uh, today we are going to be uh, doing the July Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus unboxing uh, due to, we'll say a foul up with FedEx. I do not have my BoxyCharm yet. Um, I'll get into that in a later video today. I used uh, just some elements from the Glam Bag Plus to put my makeup on. I'll list everything in the description box below like normal. We're going to jump right into first doing the Glam Bag. So this is the sample sized one. The theme for both is Dive In and this is for the July. And here's the card. And the bag is this cute. Even feels, you know, regular plastic on the outside, cloth on the inside, the Ipsy pole. Cute little, cute little bag. And what does the card say this time? It says, Summer is in full swing. Let's soak it up with dewy skin, beach babe waves, and shimmering budge proof makeup looks guaranteed to keep those chill pool side vibes going all month long. And then the first item in the box is a Red Earth Brightening Concentrate Oil with Kakadu Plum. And this is what this little guy looks like. This is actually a pretty generously sized amount. It looks like it's a full uh, five milliliter or 0.17 fluid ounces and usually with these type of things you only need like a drop or two so this sample size could last a really long time and it says this highly concentrated facial serum is packed with macadamia oil and coconut oil to moisturize and soften your skin it's also infused with vitamin c rich kakadu okay i don't know if i'm saying that right like usual i'm sorry plum which is which helps to brighten up your complexion a proprietary blend of licorice root extract orange peel oil and lemongrass extract leaves your skin utterly refreshed and rejuvenated with each application the light fresh scent is so refreshing for for hot summer day so i haven't ripped getting the seal on it yet I don't know what it smells like but it says about the brand is it is a 25 year old Aussie brand red earth infuses a blend of powerful native ingredients into their proprietary skin brightening and soothing elixirs and we love how they always stay true to their roots raw beauty and effortless style then the next item in the bag is the Ciate London watermelon burst hydrating primer and that's what this looks like. This also seems to be pretty generously sized at 0.34 fluid ounces or 10 mil. And it says this time of year we can't get enough of bright juicy watermelon. But did you know your skin loves it too? You'll find it in this skin quenching primer. Watermelon extract droplets help to hydrate your skin and replenish moisture for a dewy healthy complexion. The pink jelly formula is not only fun and pretty to use, it helps brighten up dullness and refine your pores. The texture feels so light and refreshing you'll, you'll barely feel it on your on under your makeup. Sweat, heat, and humidity are no match when you prep your foundation with this baby. Not only does it create a barrier to prevent makeup from smudging, it grips onto foundation so it stays in place all day. Like all Ciate London products, this primer is vegan and cruelty free. I did not use this today. Matter of fact, from the glam bag, there's only one item that I used and we'll get to that here in a minute. But next is the Mindful Palo Santo Soothing Mask. And this is what this one looks like. And again, seems like a pretty generous size. Does it say on here? Oh no, it's on the front. So this one is actually one fluid ounce. This is 29 mil. Usually one fluid ounce is 30 mil. 
So we might have gotten short of a little bit on the one ounce. Um, but this one says, this brand believes that skincare has the potential to change your world and they're not wrong. Say, um, I'm gonna be like, um. And this mask is infused with energy clearing Palo Santo, AKA Holy Wood essential oil. Stressed? Adaptogenic mushrooms immediately help your skin relax. A healthy dose of lavender and chamomile helps soothe and calm sensitive skin. And animal lover, you're in luck. This mask is totally vegan. And what does it say about the brand? It says the brand believes that beauty isn't just something you see, it's something you feel. And we're here for that, says the Ipsy team have not also had a chance to use that one yet because it's a mask. I'm not gonna mask before putting on makeup. Uh, this next item is something that I did use today. It is the Pacifica Bronzer Blush Duo. Let's just open it up. I'll show you what this looks like. So obviously we've got bronzer on this side and blush on this side. And then it's got a mirror on this side with also the name of the shades and all of the, the little doodads about it being 100% vegan and cruelty free. The shades are Wild Rose and Desert. I'm assuming Wild Rose is the blush and Desert is the bronzer, which like I said, I did use today. And I like it actually quite a bit. The blush in this has a lot of shininess to it and reflectiveness. I almost actually didn't need to use highlighter, but I did anyway, cause why not? And it's fun. And let's see what it says about why we will love this. Or want to blush up and glow with a single product. This buildable blush and bronzer was made just for Ipsy and we are so excited to finally share it with you. The bronzer has a matte finish, which is great for nixing shine on those extra humid days. The blush will leave you with a natural looking rosy sheen. Yes, it does. It is very shiny actually though. And it says each of these shades is long wearing, highly pigmented and blends smoothly. smoothly. So no splotchiness happening here. It's great for travel and the pans are perfectly sized and shaped for your blush and angled highlighter brushes to swirl in with ease. The compact has a handy mirror on the back for easy application when you're on the go. And the about the brand says Pacific as award-winning vegan and cruelty-free beauty products put them at the forefront of the natural beauty revolution. Now I have also tried their foundation and concealer. Eh, I was not impressed. I do think that they are more designed for people with dry skin, of which I do not have. And I have already shipped those off to my daughter in Texas. And my bad, I forgot that she was allergic to coconut, which I believe is in this. And I think it's Actually, yes, matter of fact, even the bronzer and the blush duo here on the back, it does specify that it is rose and coconut infused. I don't know if I can get this close enough for it to rose and coconut infused. So if you are allergic or sensitive to coconut, this will be a hard pass. Kimber, I'm sorry. I forgot. I will do better. I will try. So, but for those of us that are not allergic, I like it, but you know, do be aware if you do not like to have a shiny blush, if you prefer a matte blush, this one will not be for you, but I do like the bronzer for my skin tone. And then moving on, the last item in the glam bag is the Balm Cosmetics eyeshadow. And I do enjoy their packaging. I think their packaging is adorable. So here's what the outer package looks like. And then here is the shade. I guess the shade is what's the T. So that'd be good outer corner and eyeliner shade. 
And what does it say? It says, we scored this shade from the Balm's beautiful What's the Tea Ice Tea Eyeshadow Palette featuring fresh colors inspired by summer. If my iced tea looked like this, I would not want to drink it. I think it went bad. Anyway, the rundown, so that must be the color, yes, is the, the shade is the rundown. The rundown is a plum gray shade that updates your smoky eye looks. This silky smooth eyeshadow blends easily with your fingers or eyeshadow brush. It is surprisingly versatile and looks great on so many skin tones plus you can wear it wet or dry to deepen the color all of the balms products are cruelty free and about the brand says aside from super fun packaging with illustrations that scream girl power the balms known for quick fix products that are easy on your wallet and i do think it's either once at least once if not twice a year they'll have a 50 percent off sale I did not take advantage of that this year because I purchased quite a few of their eyeshadow palettes of which I'm definitely a, a, a addict. I am an addict for eyeshadow palettes. Um, anyway, and I really, I, I wasn't impressed. I wasn't impressed. So anyway, that's it for the glam bag. I'm gonna pause this here while I set everything up for the glam bag plus and I will see you all in a second. And I'm back. Um, of course, as I was getting everything set up for the second part of this, which is the Clam Bag Plus, and then I also uh, purchased three add-ons this time. Cue neighbor yelling at their dog. Another neighbor now mowing the lawn. So, if you're hearing extra sounds, I do apologize. My camera is set up right in front of the window and I have no control over the rest of the neighborhood. It would be nice, but I don't. So anyway, moving on again. All right, I've got everything all lined up in a row here. Let's see how fast we can get through this, but still be thorough. So if you're thinking of subscribing to Ipsy or opting in for the Glam Bag Plus. I wanna be informative. So uh, what we have is again, the theme this month is Dive In. So here's the card. And when you open it up, it's got this nice long, gives you what the products are. Now I do have a lot of this on my face today. The first item is actually the last item that I used, which is the Pixie uh, Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil. This is what this looks like. As you can tell, it separates and you gotta shh and the snot out of it. And then it mixes it all up. And you spritz it on your face. So it says step up your summer glow with this lightweight mist that gives you a dewy gorgeous glow. Now I am wearing the Huda Beauty foundation and concealer today which as some of you may know is actually quite matte. It's also very full coverage. I didn't even use a full pump so if you have been thinking about trying it, you want a full coverage foundation. I do like this one, but go sparingly because a little goes a long way and that stuff is thick. But I do have this sprayed on over the top and it does seem to give me, you know, kind of that all over glow, which is not usually what I go for, but you know, hey, in the interest of showing you what it looks like, on mature skin, here we are. And anyway, so it says that it is formulated with 13 natural essence oils like rose flower and lavender, aloe vera, and fruit extracts. It sets your makeup, hydrates, and protects your skin. Need a 
literal chill pill. You keep this mist in the fridge and spritz some on for the ultimate refreshing pick-me-up. Sensitive, no sweat. This soothing glow getter works on all skin types and kindness for the win. This baby is not tested on animals. And about the brand, it says, founded by a working mom of four, Pixie is all about easy, effective multitasking products that cut down on your routine time and fit your on the go lifestyle. So this is actually the first item that I have ever owned from Pixie. I have seen it in Target stores. I don't know if I've ever seen it in Ulta. I know I've definitely seen Pixie in Target. And just not knowing enough about the brand, I've never actually purposely purchased anything from the brand. But, you know, if I end up still looking like glowy but not a grease ball by the end of the day, might give it a shot, you know, of some other products in the line. And the next item is the Touch and Soul Pretty Filter <coughs> Waterfall Glow Cream. And this is what this jar looks like. I do have a couple primers from Touch and Soul. I've got that Priming Essence as well that I used in my oily areas today. We'll see how that goes. I did use all my normal Drunk Elephant skincare because the instructions on the box for this, which most of the stuff it looks like on the back is in, I don't know if it would be Korean or Chinese or what, I think Touch and Soul is a K-Beauty brand, so Korean would make sense. Anyway, I digress. So I did put this on over the top of my regular skincare routine and it is kind of like this nice gel-like finish. All I did is just kind of scrape some off of this. I don't know if this is going to pick up the texture of it or not. Yeah, you can kind of tell it's not like your traditional thick cream. It was very light. It, I mean, added moisture to my skin. It wasn't heavy at all. So again, we'll see how the foundation and everything wears throughout the day with that extra prep. I have noticed, because I did go before starting this whole video from the beginning, I did go back and kind of touch up, just kind of grab my powder brush and I didn't see a whole lot of settling in my big old smile lines over here. I mean, there's a little, so I don't know if it was that or if it was the combination of primers that I used or what, but I'll keep playing with stuff. We'll see how that goes. But let's see what it says about it online. Ipsy says that uh, looking for the most innovative skincare, Touch and Soul is where it's at. This lightweight cream is formulated with hyaluronic acid to majorly moisturize and give your skin extra bounce. Hydrolyzed collagen helps plump and firm. Not to be vain, but the jar is so pretty it'll totally elevate your shelfy status. Not selfie, shelfy status. <clears throat> It is safe and gentle enough for all skin types, even sensitive. And about the brand says, Touch and Soul founder Sean K. Lim created this brand to highlight the energy and artistic nature of Seoul, South Korea. Using cutting edge technology and ingredients, their formulas are at the forefront of beauty innovation. Next is the Huda Beauty Obsessions Palette in Mauve. And that is the eyeshadow that I am wearing today. And if you have not seen those before, this is what this little guy looks like. And then here we have the shades. So I used this one in the crease. I use, there's no names for these, by the way. I use this one for the uh, majority of the lid. I use this one for the inner corner and brow bone highlight. And this one for the, um, you know, outer 
corner darkening up and then also these two as eyeliner on the lower lash line as well pardon me while my nose itches i had already the blue and the green for trying to do like a seahawks themed look which you know one of these days i will get perfected but i'm still working on that so i was excited that this was in the glam bag plus this month i have wanted more of these palettes and i have actually since i saw these were coming you'll see one of the add-ons was the smoky palette also from here but that's down the line yet I now have coming from Sephora the other five in the line. So I had two, I've got two with the Glam Bag Plus, got the other five coming. I've also ordered dupes for them from Wish and I will do comparison videos. What would seem to make sense is a look with each one with half Wish, half from, you know, legitimate sources and see how those go they aren't it's not like the it cosmetics that i purchased from wish the you know, it's it, it is an off brand it is a dupe but they are palettes that are absolutely a ripoff of these color schemes shall we say uh, i also have purchased the huda beauty uh, it was a rose gold remastered palette because I have the new nudes and I've also got the dupes for those coming from Wish. So those are going to be spoilers, some future videos that are coming. So watch for those if you're interested. Um, but if you've ordered anything from Wish, you know it takes anywhere from like two to six weeks because they are literally on a slow boat from China. Just saying. Anyway, I digress again. Thanks for sticking it out with me. Oh, didn't read the stuff on it. I was about to move on to the next item and I didn't 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 read the information here. It says that the these obsession palettes are loaded with nine shadows. This compact palette offers the ultimate day to night eye color wardrobe. It includes super pigmented mattes and shimmers. The creamy powder formula blends like butter. Uh, the large mirror makes on the go application so easy and the color story is perfectly curated for creating cohesive looks. Now, obviously the color stories are curated for creating very much a mono type you know it, they're, they're very close very close in color come on you know you do have a couple you know fairly neutral ones here i did not use this matte or that one I probably could have used that one for the transition but nah. let's just go i mean it's pretty though it's pretty i did have to on the chunkier shade there that I used for most of my eyelid. I did use that use a brush to apply it, but then I went over the top really lightly with my finger to just get a better payoff. So I am learning that if you have a chunkier looking shadow, it works better with your fingers than it does with a brush. I just wish my eyes weren't so small and my fingers so big. The struggle is real. But moving on, the next one is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara in the shade Brin. And this is what the tube looks like. It is very heavy. Um, so let's get the wand out. So here's the spoolie on the wand it's just like a i don't know if it, that's actually focusing in there there we go very short kind of silicone feel to the bristles as you can see it kind of tapered 
to the end. It did make it easy to get all of my lashes covered. I put on, I believe, a couple of coats on either side. It has been several hours since I put it on. I actually really like this. It separated my lashes. It definitely gave them definition. They're not sticking together at the corners. I did use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise primer as well as I've been doing with all of my mascaras. But I do like the spoolie on this. The application is good. I did not get it everywhere like you do with a lot of, like I was using yesterday that um, the one from last month with the weird eyelash curler thing. I used that yesterday because I finally used up my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes one and I made a massive mess of myself. I got it everywhere and I'm just like, really? I'm getting ready for work, why? <sighs> okay, and I'm, I'm just being a drama queen. But you know, when you're trying to get ready for work, you don't want something that's gonna be all over the place that then you have to take five minutes with the little Q-tip of like, come on and, and try not to you know get all your makeup off at the same time. I know the struggle is real but anyway so far I like the mascara I will probably take that with me to Idaho not Idaho we're going to Oregon tonight and use that tomorrow because it was just it was quick it was easy and I'm gonna be trying to do my makeup in a hotel room and getting ready to go to an uncle's funeral what it says online is this curling lengthening mascara formula does exactly what it says a single swipe made our skimpy lashes look like extensions no 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 it did take a couple of coats so there's a lie uh, it says an innovative cone comb shaped wand adds definition separates lashes and helps prevent clumping yes that it did i like that the formula is infused with orchid stem cell complex a formula that, that stimulates lash growth hey okay now well, maybe hopefully that one's not a lie and soft fibers to give your lashes dramatic length and lift i didn't notice any fibers but you can tell I have eyelashes and I don't have, I don't have falsies on. So that's always good. And the last thing says, go ahead, lay it on thick. You won't get any clumps, flakes, or smears from this buildable formula. Yes. Yes, I did. It did build up quite nicely. And about the brand says, we're obsessed with the do good philosophy behind this brand. Thrive Cosmetics, not like C-O-S-M-E, da 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 da. It's cause as in a, a, a cause, like, you know, um, anyway, it's like C-A-U-S-E-M-E, -E, da 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 da. Uh, founder Carissa Bodnar created this line to support women overcoming remarkable challenges, including cancer, domestic abuse, homelessness, and more. For every product purchase, purchased, they make a donation to a charity to help a woman thrive. Now there has been controversy about them not exactly doing that so so far the only thrive cosmetics items i have i have received in beauty boxes i am probably not going to spend my own money with them until i can see for sure that they are actually doing what they say they are going to do and make a donation for every purchase and i'm not quite sure how they're going to prove that but just be aware if you're buying from them so that it can support women in need, just know that like a lot of charities, it doesn't always get to who it's intended for, or who they tell you that it's intended for. Anyway, moving on. The next one is the Wander Beauty Catch the Light Highlighter and Glotion in the shade Celestial. And it's rather unique packaging. And this is what this looks like. 
So I did not use this today, but you have where you can take the cap off. The Glotion is in here. And then just on the cap, then you can take this off. And then there is a cream highlight on the top. I brought it over there. I was gonna use it. I forgot. Story of my life. But what it says is, this Radiance Boosting Duo has two formulas in one, so it's easy to customize your glow. One end has a liquid formula with a microfine pearl pigments that reflect light, AKA AIRL, or in real life, Insta Filter. The other end has a stick illuminator that's great for adding a healthy sheen to your cheekbones, packed with healthy ingredients like aloe leaf, vitamin E, and hyaluronic acid. This formula nourishes, protects, hydrates, and refines your skin. If that's not enough, this two timer is cruelty free and vegan. And the about the brand says Wander Beauty is inspired by skin nourishing ingredients found around the world. Their multitasking makeup products pull your look together in a snap so you'll feel confident and beautiful when you're on the go. And the next item is the Perlice Matcha Green Tea Antioxidant Priming Moisturizer. And this is what this looks like. And in this one, you get 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 mil. It says it is for oily combination or normal, even sensitive skin. It is a lightweight, oil-free water cream, prime skin for makeup. And what does it say about it? Well, that's pretty much on the first line is what it says. It's infused with antioxidant rich green tea to help protect from fine lines and wrinkles. White tea, vitamin E, and French marine plants soothe and help your skin retain moisture so it looks dewy and radiant. It's ultra lightweight so it soaks right into your skin. Perfect for summer. Stressful day ahead. The calming scent will chill you right out. And the About the Brand says this line of high-performance multitasking skincare was created by former Power Rangers villainess Jennifer Yen, who channels her passion for the time-tested Asian skincare rituals into results-driven products that are safe for sensitive skin. And I'm sorry about my neighbor's dogs. Fabulous timing. What you gonna do? So I did use actually my regular primers today. Like I said, I used the Touch and Soul Priming Essence, still trying to see if it's going to do anything about, you know, pores or the oil or anything. I have not noticed it helping at all. Keep trying with different combinations, see how it goes. I put on my um, Fenty, Fenty Primer because I was in the primer drawer grabbing my primers and I really like that one. So I put that one on, looked to my right and went, oh crap. So I actually grabbed a little bit of this and I did put this on as well. It is also, it is very lightweight. It does smell good. And so far I am not an absolute grease ball and I do have a nice glow going on. So it could have partly to do with this, partly to do with the glow mist. We shall see, but this was a add-on that I obviously added on. And I'm gonna just, as you can tell so far, I haven't said any of the prices. I'll just list, list everything in the products list below like I normally do because I'm running out of time. We gotta get out of here. So the next item, as I mentioned earlier, was the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions Palette. And here's what this looks like and then the color story here so there's a lot of a lot of chunky glitters in there and then some pretty nice looking mattes I said pretty sure that I'm gonna have to use my finger for that I may actually also bring this with me to Oregon because funeral more toned down and you know, might be more appropriate than this kind of red look. Although, you know, if I start crying, then I'll just 
really look like I got a pay cut. And of course, this has the same description as the mauve obsession, so I'm not gonna go through that. And the last add-on that I purchased, obviously, is the Jolie Cosmetics Luxe Cream Matte in Focuso, and that is what I'm wearing today. It looked like it would be a lot lighter online, and this ended up the opposite of light. It's actually quite dark and vampy, as you can tell. So this may be a shade that I would wear more in the fall or the winter. Not exactly a summer shade, but you know, I still like it. It's a little sticky, but it's, um, you know, it is transferring a little bit onto my silicone straw cover. So I'll need to take, you know, a makeup wipe and probably get that off of there. So when I wash it, once I'm done drinking my gallon of coffee, because this is cup number three out of four, usually. But anyway, that's it for the Ipsy Glam Bag Glam Bag Plus for July 2019. I hope this video is informative. If you like the video, please like the video. If you like me, please subscribe to my channel. And, you know, I hope to see you all back here again soon for more videos like this, try-ons, and wanting to do more comparing if you can get some good dupes from Wish because I don't know if you can tell, but it looks like people are really interested in affordable makeup options. So this is a good way to get higher end brands or a good mixture of higher end and more drugstore prices because like Pixie, you can get at the drugstore. I do think it might be one of the more expensive of the drugstore type prices, price point, but if the quality is there, then it's worth it. All the rest of the stuff is more pretty much more like luxury, but it is a good way that you can get full size products for very cheap price. Try things out that you probably never would have tried out otherwise. But anyway, going off on another tangent, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day wherever you are, and I hope to see you all again soon in another video.